Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 338, counting beats. So this question is often asked by Amazon, Blizzard, especially Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft. Personally, I see it from Facebook and but I, I say it's a really good question. I don't know why it's not that popular here. It could be one of the questions that from the big company and people who like it a lot. So you can see this is a really good question. Maybe just this six months, not that popular. So for this question, and um, you see we input a integer, positive integer. So the input will be fine. The output will be a array of integer that starting from zero um, to all the way to the number input, so zero, one, two. So this number representing the binary representation of that number. For example, it's zero and it's zero. So one, we have one in the binary representation. In order to say this, I will draw it out so you can understand better. So now we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And in this situation, the binary will be like this. And two will be have one, zero. Three will have one, one. So four will have one, zero, zero. Five will have one, zero, one. So now you see, this is a binary one. This is a, a decimal one. So we have two here. So it starts from zero. There's no one here. So we have one, one here. So it's one. So two, I only have one, one. So it's zero, one, one for this question. And if you want five, five is right here. And we have to start from zero. Zero, one, one will be the same as this one to find the representation. So see how many ones in three. So which is two, two, one, and then one, one, and two, one again. So we have all the representation in this array output. So this question is really good. And uh, it, because it's used to uh, classic solution for in here, which is binary, sorry, operation. And also we use DP, which is dy dynamic programming in here to solve this problem. So now we, we know how to build this output now. And that's one concept we, we would know which is, you see, uh, we have the base case zero, and we know there's something called binary operation, which called right shift here. If you right shift one, that means this binary become one. Right shift one for this binary number is also one, but right shift this number will be 10 because it right shift one digit and then cancel this out. So now we see this is zero, one. We keep building this up, up one here, that's enough. So now we see this number right here. When we see three, we make it three, right shift one. And we see right shift one, we will find this, which is one here, because right shift one for this 11 here will become one. So one will have one as a DP here. And actually this one is built up from here. We see uh, it's representing this one because right shift this here 
and we need to add if the original binary have one. So how do we need to check? The last digit is this binary, binary mod two, which is the last binary digit, right? If it's one, so this will be one. So we add a uh, right shift one, six current binary digit, right shift one, and find this, uh, uh, how many ones in here? And then we add, if it's even or odd for this current binary, that will be the current ones for this digit. In this case, the same. If this is an odd, I mean, even number, and when you write it one, which is 10 here, and then we see this is the right solution because if you write it this one, this is also zero, it's just nothing. If you take out another zero, it's still, the one doesn't change in this solution. So we get the answer from the right ship one, which is one. And here, you know, this is odd number. For sure, you get the one first in here. And you're looking for the right ship one this is 10 for this number. So this number at odd and even, so it's two here. So this is how you get the uh, DP solution in here with the binary operation. So it's really clever. So now we take a look at the code. So we see, first we need to build up the um, output array that uh, is new int numbers plus one. We need that much, including, including the zero. So we make in i starting from one, i less than, I'll put out size, I plus plus. Look through the whole entire things it, to the end. So every output I will be equal to output, because you know, um, zero is start from zero, it's default as a zero. So we call I right ship by one, plus whether I is odd or even or not. Smart two. So it's the last digit in here. Add the period uh, right ship one's answer from the DP. And we'll see, I mean, we'll build up this output array. And we turn the output array at the end. Cool, it looks good, let's submit it. And that's it, it definitely beat 100% because it's really lightweight and just only one time with, uh, I think, N, O, N of space. So that's it for this question. Uh, let me know if you have another question or any concern, comment it below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Until we see you next time, bye.